Hi and welcome Unreal Engine 4 fans, this is the next video tutorial about interacting with the light switch model. The last time we stopped here, where we added this switch to the scene, and now we are going to add a blueprint. Okay, let's put it here to the blueprints folder. And here is the switch. Okay. The first thing I want to do is to add a variable of type bool that indicates and defines if the light is switched on or off. I call this light off and we have to compile to be able to set the default state of this variable and I think I will set it to true. And now let's switch to the event graph where we will toggle this variable on user input. In order to receive the user input in this blueprint and in this event graph, we have to set the auto receive input to a player. And after that, I will define a user input and action mapping in the project settings. select input and then add an action mapping. I call this interact and this will be triggered when we press the E key. Okay, now let's use this in this event graph. Let's find the input interact and if this is pressed I want to toggle the variable light off. So how to toggle a bool variable? There is a node called not and we will use this to toggle the light off variable. I will show you. Again drag in the light off variable. and then use the NOT node to toggle it. That's it. That's the toggle logic for the bool variable. And after that I will use a flip-flop node to play the appropriate animation. Let's see, move this a little bit to the right side and I'll get my flip-flop. And here I evaluate if the light off is set or not. If it is set, I will play the light off animation and if it is not set, I play the light on animation. Very simple. Find the play animation and select light off. This is the A case and in the B case we can play the light on animation. Okay, that's it. You can also use the same component here as the target. Don't need to use a copy. And this is the logic to toggle the animation state of the light switch. I like to use a command. This is the switch interaction. And now let's compile and test this. Okay, now when I press the E key, you can see the animation is played on, off, 
can toggle this each time you press the E key. Well, that's cool, but what I really want to do is to use this light switch. I want to use it to turn a light on and off. Also very simple. Let's add a new variable and this will be of the type light. Call this, for example, my light. The variable type will be of the object type light. This one, okay. And now turn this variable into a public one. This can be done by clicking here. And now this can be seen from the outside. Now let's use this my light variable and drag it into the editor. And then use toggle visibility to turn it on and off. And we want to do this after we played an animation. Okay, we are almost done. Back to the Unreal Editor, select the light switch and now the variable my light is available and we use the point light for it. You can also use the directional light. We'll do this later on and now start the game and test if we can switch it on and off by pressing the E key. Now I press it, off, yeah. And on again. Very cool. But the default state has to be the on state. So let's switch back to the blueprint and set the default state of the light off variable to false. Okay, now let's turn it on and off. Yeah, that's the correct logic. And as I said, you can also use a different light. So let's test this with the directional light. Change the variable and now press E. And now the directional light is toggled. Okay, my friends, I really hope you liked this video. Please let me know if you do and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon on JNM.